okay welcome to heroic academy uh, this is a quick video to uh, review the project of one of my students okay this is a microsoft word project done by one of my students okay so um i'm quite impressed by the project you did a good job as a matter of fact but there are a few corrections okay one is you see the, your project doesn't have a title here um, I'm thinking that you are using this header as a title, but it's not supposed to be. Okay, it's not supposed to be. So it's supposed to. It's supposed to have a title here. So if you want to use this as a title, it means that you have to get it here. Okay. Then you now come and come here. You you put it here as a title um, and uh, make it bold okay and possibly make it a uh, uh, uppercase okay and center it maybe somehow like this maybe increase it to 16 you understand uh, then you now uh, start okay now start your project that is one the two the header is too big you know this header is not really meant to be very visible it meant to be um just showing a little bit okay not showing so much you see it's too pronounced okay so what you do is you have to come here um say make it center i, w I prefer the header to be centered okay center it then you reduce the size maybe 10 maybe you can italicize it okay mm, i think that's okay uh, you can even make if if you don't want it to be quite that visible then you come here and make the color put maybe a grayish color it's this you understand me very good okay uh, i mean if 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 it is that uh, so gray then you can increase it okay you know you can increase the color to maybe darker gray you understand me or you can come here and choose any grayish color you want do you understand me but the important thing here is that we don't want it to fight with, with the the main topic of the day okay we don't want the header to fight with the topic okay and that is it okay so you see the header mm, which is fantastic so i think well uh, other for one thing i think uh, other for one thing you did uh, quite uh, quite nice quite nice appreciate it okay so from what i'm seeing here it shows that you are you are pretty good with microsoft word and uh, you deserve you deserve the certificate okay so i will work on your certificates just uh, remind me tomorrow to work on your certificate so you have it all right very good so that's it then another one is your microsoft excel you also did a very good job here but you didn't put the title to Mm, there's need for you to have put a title here okay put a title of what you did here okay and um, i actually forgotten exactly the the text i gave you know i lost some some of some of my uh message my, my whatsapp message when i changed my phone okay so i can't really grasp exactly the project i gave you so pardon me please Mm, but what I would advise you to do is this. You see, this account is moving to the next page, and uh, I will want it to be on one page. So you find a way to do that to be on one page, and do how to do it to be on one page just to adjust the margin. Okay, adjust the margin. Once you are adjusting the margin, it will be entry. You understand? Then come here. These names don't make the name to be centered make it to be left aligned so it's just a professional way of doing it left alignment like if you are working for a company a financial institution then you don't put the names like this it's supposed to be le left aligned you understand so you do it left aligned okay for the name mm, then the these ones are okay you can leave them like this if you want to but you see these these ones you know the it, it is where you have the the score total score as in the summary of the scores 
you have to come here put it uh, uh, right al aligned okay so you summarize things you know this you know when you are uh, typing even by default excel normally makes this to be right aligned when you type in number it pushed you know my push is the number today right okay because normally when you are doing a calculation it's supposed to be like this you see how it is no that's how it's supposed to be okay even the average also put it to the here like this gen stand okay so i'm kind of teaching you the standard you are going to follow when if you're working with a company okay so i think uh, mm, that's basically it then you now have to i believe okay we still have one left position okay let's see what we can do to make it come in okay what we can do here is that we have to adjust this uh okay adjusting this now will i believe we're, you're using a4 here a4 mm. You know, because it's an account. Okay, what I'm going to do is this: we are um, we are going to use a since A4 couldn't accommodate the 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 account. We change we change it to FA to Lego. You know, Lego paper. Lego paper has a, I mean the length is longer than the A4. Okay. So we use Lego. Do you see Le Lego has accommodated it? Okay. Then we now have to do necessary adjustments. Okay. To to move this this away. Okay. Just adjust this a bit. You see, it's gone. Adjust this also a little bit. Mm, I think we now have one page account, and that's what we need okay so that is it mm. so from what he did i've just i've checked this and uh, you did a good job here using if statement here conditional statement you actually tried um okay 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 i think uh, <coughs> you you try your best and uh it's well appreciated it's well appreciated mm. like i said just uh, remind me tomorrow to work on your certificate okay uh, then try to put the heading like i said put uh, add heading here heading for your account so that when someone li looks at this person will immediately know that um I mean what the account it's all about and then this uh, this line as in you know because this is empty you don't really necessarily need there uh, need this do you understand you don't necessarily need need this because uh, you didn't have anything in it right okay so uh, like I said this line from here down here because th there's nothing in it you don't supposed to print empty why why printing you don't have to print this area okay so but your print supposed to end here you understand so you just block it then you go to home they come here remove the border okay mm, maybe what we are going to do is we're going to um yeah remove the product uh, then we'll leave only the top because the top is need yeah okay oh sorry about this i didn't really remove it yes let's do it again let's do it again first let's remove no border at all okay oh uh, i actually made a mistake let's add sh the border here I actually remove more than I should. Do you understand? So add border there. So perfect. So here now we will not be printed 
this place down here will not be printed. This is the only place that will be printed. You understand? I think that's fine. That's fine by me. Okay. You can also do the same thing here. Okay. Remove the border here so that this page. Anyway, you are printing one page. So if you want to print now, just send it to the printer. Then you choose page one to only print this part, this, this particular page one. Okay. So that is it. Mm, I think that's okay. But I believe you know how I came in. You know, normally when you open Excel, um, the the interface of Excel is not normally like this. You understand? Uh, I, I when, I, when I mean interface, I mean the layout. Okay, the layout of Excel is not normally like this. Okay. Um, okay so uh, if you go to view now if you go to view you're gonna see that we are in page layout that's why it is like this so it will be showing you page by page because normally Excel don't show you page by page it just show you a full sheet if you are in normal view right so this is what you're going to see okay mm -hmm. this is what you're going to send this is the first page actually which ends here and you see the sheet is demarcated by lines the pages okay but if you go to page layer view you see it okay you see you see this in and this is the first page here okay so that is it and this where you, you enter the the footer in case if if you want to insert the footer you can insert it here okay maybe you want to insert page number you see the page number will appear here this is the page number right very good mm, okay that's it. by the way thank you so much okay so remind me tomorrow send me your full name the name you will want me to put in your certificate okay uh, send the, the name to me on whatsapp tomorrow thank you very much